Okay, so getting kids on a sleep routine is about to get a lot easier, thankfully, for parents, thanks to an idea inspired by eight-year-old twins. For this morning's Family Matters segment, we are joined by twins AJ and Francesca. Hi! And their dad, award-winning producer and author John R. Green. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to you. Yes, so great to see you. Uh, John, let me start with you. You worked in the TV industry, so you know about the wacky hours that so many of us keep. Um, I wake up very early in the morning, so I try to get to my kids to sleep on time every single night, right? Create that routine. It's not always easy because they come up with, you name it, excuses for why they can't go to sleep. You know, let me just stay up a little bit longer. I, one more thing, mommy, one more thing. So what kind of struggles did you face with your twins? Oh, I can relate. I can absolutely relate to you, especially because I worked in morning television for years and I know what that alarm feels right. like at four or five in the morning and how important it is to get to bed and get the kids to bed uh, at a certain hour. So uh, Francesca and AJ had different sleep problems when they were about three or four years old. AJ's problem was that he was afraid of nightmares. Oh, okay. so he didn't want to go to bed because he was convinced that the monsters were going to come and grab mm -hmm. him at night. Francesca's I've heard that. Problem yeah, Francesca's problem was a little different. She was afraid to be alone. Mm. So I created these rituals where I had magic powers. Dad has magic powers. In AJ's case, I have magic powers to see the bad dreams in his head. I can take them out and then I can grab the good dreams that are floating invisibly in the air and then I can put them back in his head. And that seemed to do the trick and it became a ritual that we still use today many years later. For Francesca, since she didn't want to be alone, I told her that I had other magic powers. I was a dream jumper, meaning that if she could think of a dream, really, really fun dream that she wanted me to join her in, I could go back to my room and she could stay in her room. And when we fell asleep, I would jump into a dream with her. Ah, uh, it's brilliant. Francesca, did you see your dad jump into your dream? Yeah. What, what were you guys doing in this dream? What's my dad sliding to my down tree. a rainbow into a pool of teddy bears? <laughs> <laughs> you were riding on a rainbow. I love it. Um, AJ, I heard you talking there. Now, your dad said that you were a little scared at night. Uh, so what? did this help you? No. No? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Why do you always ask me? He always asks me, even still at eight years old, he says, take my bad dreams out. Oh, and then the once you jumped into my dream, but it was, it was a bad dream, and there were, like, bad people that were trying oh. to kill us. See, that's so the funny. next book. You got to jump into bad dreams and fix that problem, since you're a superhero yeah. of sorts. <laughs> once, once, once I, the, my worst dream ever, there was a dog. Oh, there we don't want to hear dog. about bad dreams. And How then, about good dreams? <laughs> 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 oh, this and, is the... A zombie touched it, and then he said, I'm coming for you. John, so, let, let me tell you, this is the best <laughs> PR for you. <laughs> there you go, the eight-year-old imagination. But actually, the reason why I wrote the books um, is to not only encourage more parents, including dads specifically, right. to engage in bedtime rituals that usually fall on mom, mm -hmm. but also to encourage the kids to use their imagination. It kind of gives them power back at night because they feel like they're doing something that they don't want to do, that somebody's forcing them to do. So if you encourage them to, you know, use their imagination and their creativity, it, it helps teach them that valuable lesson of power, the power of positive thought. I think that's so fantastic. I have your books here. I'm going to be reading them to my children because, like I said, my, my little five-year-old does say, you know, I'm scared of the monsters and whatnot. And so a lot of times as parents, you try to be rational and say, no, there's no monsters and this, that, and the other. But, but in speaking to them on their level, like what you're saying is jumping into the dreams and being able to take out, you know, the, the scary things in their dreams, it, it just puts it on a different way that they can calm down a little bit more because the real world does seem a little scary absolutely yeah you mentioned i know you have a five-year-old does uh he asked you to tell him stories at night oh yes we tell stories we sing songs we we do all of those things but still when it's time to go to sleep it's like okay last song um then you know it's like mommy one more thing what about you know this that and the other i want to bring in the team because a lot of them have children as well and i'm sure they have some questions for you um ben Madisal. John Green, um, first time, long time, this man put me on network television, oh. and he knew me when I had my children. Hola, jefe. I'm so happy to finally meet your children on television. Oh, hola, mija, que bueno verte. Un abrazo. It's oh. so good to see you, Marisol. I watch you and the team on Channel 11 all of the time. I miss you. 
Uh, ben, we've met through your lovely wife. Um, it's great to see you, and I know that you guys are parents. So hit me up with any questions. I, w I do want to say this because our our, watch our viewers should know this. I knew John before he had children. He was mm -hmm. my boss when I had children, and there were mornings when I came into that studio at 3.30 with my children as a single mom, and yeah. you did everything in your power to this day, Liam says. That was a really good control room because he would just sit on the AD's lap or sit on your lap. So. That was the training, that was like the best training for you to become a parent, so congratulations. And you two are absolutely adorable. Francesca, I need the name of that lip gloss that you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's natural. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. It's so good to see you, and uh, I wish you all a very happy holidays. My absolutely, gosh. but thank one you. thing before we go, John, it's the routine, right? The routine is what's key to helping get them to sleep. Yeah, we all have been there before, parents who know all of the tricks of the trade. You were talking earlier about this one wants to uh, get a drink, uh, right. this one forgot something, this one wants to change her pajamas. So it really is, in my opinion, about having that defined time when the ritual begins. Mm -hmm. How long does the ritual last? And then the good night. It's the separation yes. between parent and child yeah. that's the most important. And as long as you can separate with the child feeling empowered to go to bed, uh, feeling like they're in control of their dreams, then I think it's going to be a good night for everybody in the house. Yeah. He's right. He's 100% right. Mm -hmm. It's the routine, man. If you get them into that yes. very strict mm -hmm. routine, they know this is the time where I go to bed. Even for naps, we still do naps. You know this is the time mm -hmm. we go to bed. I, um, I I tell when my kids are scared of monsters, I just say that daddy beats them up. And then and they I can't wait They laugh. I know. <laughs> when they're old enough to realize that I can't beat up anybody. Exactly. So, for now, I'm cool, yeah. but like in a I, year. I like, that you're, I like that you're giving them an image of violence. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Let me tell you something. It's unavoidable. We're watching The yeah. Mandalorian and, and Power Rangers. Right. Well, it's yeah. unfortunately, that's the root of all these bad dreams, too, is these monsters right. and all well, that stuff. Well, at least you're the superhero. Now, what's right. your advice for, like, a big kid like me? So, because <laughs> I struggle. Nuggles. So, should I just read the adult version of this book? I, I mean, a I... Nightlight, I mean, Dan. The ritual, Listen, I think, is... I don't know how to help you there. If you work in... Um, in the field that we work in, I, I can guarantee you probably are on your emails late at yeah. night, you're checking in with the office. Everybody says that's not healthy. We know it's not healthy. So one thing that I could say to do, which I don't even do myself, is put it down, put yourself in the proper mode to go to sleep. Yeah, uh, yeah you can still read a kid's book. Anything to uh, make Please you think do, about Dan. something that would make you happy. Horton hears a who. Yes. <laughs> I do read that. Horton hears an announcement in the subway station. <laughs> And you have restless legs. By the way, a viewer, Dan has restless leg syndrome, and a viewer emailed in and said you should rub apple cider vinegar on your legs. So I told Dan he has to take a video of himself rubbing oh apple cider goodness. vinegar on his legs. John, well, thank you. One. Thank that you so viral. much. That would go you viral. Would. Yeah. 100%. 100%. We appreciate all your great advice. Love seeing your beautiful Bye. children. Bye. Bye guys. You're famous. Cho -cho. You're in books now. I love it. So we, cute. I can see you every night when I read to my kids. Love the illustrations. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so thank cute. you all. He's fantastic. And I oh think his, gosh, his yes. advice is terrific because a lot of parents struggle with. I think my biggest thing is once they're in bed and you, like you said, that separation, you got to go to your room, and mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, but no, you have to stay in your room. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, you're, and I will nice. tell you, there is light at the end of the tunnel because at some point they stop doing it. You know, right? the boys are 11 and 14, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> now they put me to bed. <laughs>